Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? I'm just putting a few things going here on the map and a lot of people have been saying they don't want me to use crop destruction because of how it could interfere with the likes of this and possibly course play, although I don't actually think it affects course play anymore. Um, so I've decided for now that we're going to leave the crop destruction switched off. Now, what we are doing today is this is just going to carry on. I'm going to, this is on standard hired help. I'm not going to let it, um, I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm just going to leave it and we'll occasionally empty out the trailer. Now, my um, random event that happened this week was I shook a number one, to st uh, no, a number six to start with. So it was machinery and then it was number one. The number one option is a, um, a piece of equipment or machinery has uh, broken down and is unable to be used for the week um, randomly generated so what I did was I looked through here and I thought well we can't really just say the universal bucket or the pallet forks or you know that one there or something like that so I kind of needed it to be a bit more limited so I said like we've got the front loader there and then that one and the header I did include the header in it and the trailers the trailers are quite important and I went up through and just counted up how many I felt were important machines. So I like excluded the car and the pickup truck because um, we don't tend... That's not kind of, you know, important for the farm itself very much. Um, and I came up with 28 pieces of machinery that I counted up. So if you type into Google random number, um, you just type random number one dash whatever number you want so i typed random number or random number generator i think um one to 28 and it came back with a 24 so that was actually we got 28 27 26 25 24 is the flegel transport runner the universal auto load so if we're doing any bales or anything like that i cannot use that trailer this week so we'll have to leave the bales and everything to be picked up until next week um and I'm wondering if maybe we should tweak this particular option to only say any vehicle that can drive itself because that would make it a lot more difficult. Um, it would be a lot more limited and we would have something, it would be quite noticeable then that something would have had to have been done. Um, so I might tweak that one. Give me your thoughts today um, about whether you think that I've done this one right or if you think I should tweak it a bit just to say um, only vehicles that can drive themselves are included in this particular thing. Um, but as it stands, we cannot use the autoload trailer this week. If we want to move anything with the trailer, we'll have to get a different one or we'll have to just pick it up and move it manually. Okay, so that is that done. Um, this tractor has now finished doing this field up here. And let me just take a look in here. Uh, there we go. Right, so we've done that one up there. I've got uh, growth. So that's cultivated there, and that one is cultivated. We've got field 11 and field 9 that we wanted to work on. So we're going to go straight through here, and we're going to start on the field through here. Helper O has completed their task as well. Um, let's ignore Helper O for a minute, and we'll just get this one going up through here. I'm then going to go, and we're going to redo the course with the small Massey riding up across the field with course play at least that's what i'm hoping so this one here can just carry on with standard hide help doesn't need anything extra that one will be just fine there so then we can come down through here and we've got the massey ferguson now apparently i finished the course in the wrong place last time that's what i did wrong that was kind of my big error that i made with this one but i just want to go through and see the um sugar cane oh no he is still running i thought he um finished on this one but no he's still going so that one's fine um, a lot of people agreed that yes, we should sell the second sugarcane harvesters. That's going to bring in a bit of income, but we've got to drive it all the way over the shop. So I'm not going to do that just yet. We'll do that later on. Um, I want to go to this one first, and I want to get this one started. And I'm going to try this whole root finding thing again. So I'm going to start the course from here. I'm hoping that this is going to be okay to start from here. And we'll end it sort of going up that side of the field over there. So if I start here, I go right click. And then is this one here, um, start course recording. We're going to drive exactly as we did last time. We'll come down here, out of the field. We go round where we tipped out and then we come back up through again. Um, and then we'll stop in the field. And it was because I, was I wasn't far enough into the field that it wasn't recognizing where the combine was. So this is what I've been told. So hopefully this will work and then we can save this course and we'll be able to use it next time. Um, my question that I asked you all last week was what do we do with the sugarcane field when we have finished it? Now, I would just like to say about the weekly questions, 
I'm changing the day that I record the first episode of this series. I'm actually now recording this on a Friday, so it's several days in advance. Um, I'm doing this so that I can achieve a better um, work-home life balance and I get a bit more time with my family. It does mean, though, that uh, nobody will get to answer this question over the weekend because I will have already taken the results from it um, by the end of the week. So unless you answer in the first few days the video goes up, unfortunately, you'll no longer be included in the responses. So I'll just say I am sorry about that, but um, this is something that needs to happen. Um, so let me just bring that up to there a minute and we go stop like that and then I think we just go Do we start? Oh no, we just say drive course, don't we? I go drive course like that and then it's going to start looking so um, It's gonna start trying to it's already found the combine So I can just get rid of that a minute it's driving to the combine and then I'll go over to this one and I'll start you up And I'm just gonna press H. It's on the AI vehicle extension we may change that. I'm going to leave it on the extension at the moment and we'll leave it running with that and then we'll sort of see. It should start moving forward and the tractor should go alongside it. So yeah, the question that I asked you all last week was what do I do with the sugarcane field when we have finished doing all the harvesting? Um, do you want me to just leave it and allow the sugarcane to grow again? Because it will, as if you're on hard mode, it will only do that until it needs plowing again and then it will stop. So I think you get three um, growths out of it. Um, but with standard or easy settings, it does actually do a lot more. You get to um, leave the sugar cane and it will just keep growing. But every third harvest, it needs to be ploughed up so you get your 10% ploughing bonus. We don't actually have the plough bonus at the moment, so we could plough it up immediately and we would gain a bonus. But after you plough it, you do have to replant it. You can't plough it and then have the crop just grow by itself. It doesn't do that. Um, so... I said, do you want me to just leave it, let it grow again, we'll fertilise it when it needs it, and then other than that, we'll just kind of leave it to carry on and grow, and we won't get involved with it. Um, or do you want me to plough it up and replant it now? Um, so you get to see it being ploughed, you get to see the sugarcane, harvesting equipment, all that kind of stuff. 1,328 people have answered the question. 319 said plough it up and replant it. 1,009 said leave it go on and do something else a few people wanted me to do both i'm gonna leave it we're just gonna go with the results on this one um i'm just gonna leave it and we will come to it later on in the series and we will do some plowing up what i would like to do next is i would like to join some fields together um and i will be I, some people have been saying i should like join all of these together and make a massive big field that's not going to happen i'm not going to do that um i will probably join seven and eight together and I may even add in field number one and sort of do this area here like I did in the time lapse. Uh, but that I'd say is unlikely. I'm going to join those three together. We'll make four, five, and six into a bigger field. And we'll join these two together. That's at least to start with. But no, my question is, I would eventually like to start cutting down trees in a big area. So I don't know about the whole area because that is an awful lot of trees. But maybe like a part of this area here or part of the area up here. I could like do a load of trees around this and do 10 and 11 plus a load of trees around the outside and do that into a bigger field there or make it just a brand new field down here so would you like me to create a new field around this area to the north of the map or this area here in the middle of the map so it's one of those two do you want me to cut down all the trees and then plow up and create a big new field in the north of the map up here or this area here in the middle of the map it's your vote it's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. Now then, the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to go over to this one here. This one is full. So if I just take it off of um, work at the moment, and we'll come racing out over alongside this one. I reckon if we use the bigger Massey Ferguson trailers with this instead of these smaller ones, we would have an easier time of tipping this when we're finished. But uh, the, actually, the easiest way to tip this is to just go to the middle one and then fold it up. And then we go to the back one. That should actually take it a little bit closer in line to the side of the trailer. I'm going to go up alongside it like this. Get that tractor up as tight as I possibly can on there. And that should be close enough there that we can just tip straight in. So I'll go there. Um... My next job that I want to do, as soon as I've done this, is we're going to go up to that John Deere combine, and we're going to get that one going. I'm going to get another tractor, I'm going to get a trailer on it, and we are going to 
set a course play course running with that and then I want to see if both course play courses can run together without interfering with each other if they can that would be brilliant I really do hope that they can so let me switch that one over we'll unfold this one out again um, and we can just leave it like that I want to bring this one up round so that it comes back into roughly where it was as wheels lined up there and press H and it's away so we're not going to need to worry about it doing anything strange, anything peculiar like that. Um, that can just carry on. And I want to go through. Um, hang on. What's this one? That's that 44%. This one here is currently just sitting and waiting. If we go over here, that's at 46. I'm going to wait for this one because when this one reaches 50%, that tractor should start looking for it and come up here to it. So that's 48 and it should be on 49 it should be it should come looking for this uh, there we go it started up and it should now go to the combine and then go out round and line up and get ready to start emptying it out and we've set the tractor and trailer to unload at 90 percent but a lot of the people have advised me that i should just tweak that a little bit and have the drive on at 80 percent rather than 90 percent just because it does make life a little bit easier so let me just do that a minute and we'll let that carry on. Well, that's unloaded successfully. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to take it off of the AI vehicle extension. And I'm going to put it on standard hired help to finish this field. We're just going to work up and down the field from this side. And hope that the Massey will be able to cope with that just fine. It should do. I don't see any reason why it won't. But we've done several rounds around the outside of the field. So there's no reason for us to keep it on the AI vehicle extension. Um, we can just go standard hired help and away you go and the Massey should still be able to find this one without any problems so we'll let that one go there so what else I've done now is I've also I just went and got the John Deere here it is and I'm gonna leave this trailer down here so let's just unhitch that one a minute there and I'm gonna try using this trailer because we haven't used this one yet um, and I'd quite like to I'm curious to see also if it will run very well with the John Deere I'm hoping that it will so we can back that one up there Ooh, let's not forget that I do actually have the um, manual attachment mo uh, mod on so we'll bring this one up here now this is going to unload the corn trailer up the top I must remember to actually save the courses that I'm um, setting up for this for course play it's going to make life a little bit easier when we come to do um, harvesting again although by the time we sort of do all the different things that we want to do I suspect it's not really going to make much difference we'll have to wait and see so this one here, I want to bring this, I'm going to bring it down to the end. I'm going to actually set that combine going on standard hired help, I think. Um, so I'll bring the start of the course in here like this. I'm going to go round in a loop on this particular course, I think. Um, I'm, I'm just curious if this is going to work because we've got two different ones coming in. I don't know how course play works with um, tractors not running into each other. So I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. So we go to that one there, which is the grain transport um, combi is the one that we want. It's that one there. So then I go start course recording and I come out of... Oh, actually, no, I need to do like a couple of... Let me stop that one a minute. I don't want that. Um, how do I delete it? I want to delete that course. There, like that. Right, so if I bring this one up round, I want to start sort of in the middle of the field here, actually. Um, I did do that wrong to start with. I want to bring it here, because apparently you need, like, two or three, like, little... Um, you know, you see the, the yellow dots? You need two or three of those points to be registered before it finish, it's, um, like, done, um, to make sure that it's right. So we've got several there registered now, so it can come down through there. This is, you know, we got to remember where that lorry is being parked, that truck is being parked. I'm going to actually move that one in closer to the middle of the field so that we don't have any collisions going on because that would be an absolute disaster. And we're going to come down into the yard here. I'm not going to cross the paths very much. This one's going to come down this side and then it's going to go between the well and the shed, but then it's going to come out this way. It's going to come this side like that. And carry on down here. This is the only bit here where we're going to get paths being crossed. Um, because they're both going to have to do this course around here. So that one comes up around there. And then it goes over the bridge, over the tip point. You don't need to do anything. It just does it all by itself. It's absolutely brilliant. 
and we come back out of here and then this one will run up here and this time to go back it's going to go in front of the house and it's going to go up this track up here so it's going to go all the way around this way and right up back up to the field up through the the back road up here so it will come up this one up here all the way up through here and you can see the combine up there that's where we're going we're going to drive all the way up there and then we will stop and save the course so i'll bring that kind of into the middle of the field once we've gotten up there and then i'll stop and hopefully that will be in the right place and then i can switch to the john deere combine and we can get that one going a few people pointed out last week that one of the main issues we had with that combine last week was it might have been that it was um it was too low to the ground that would have been our main issue so i'm going to bring this one over like this back into the field and i can see the start point over there i'm going to bring it right up in like that so it's properly in the middle of the field We've done a few bits in and i will stop right there there is our course so then i can go drive course like that and drive behind combine it's looked for a combine it's found a combine and that's what it's going to go for so we'll let that one carry on there our tractor here is currently uh, <laughs> sat inside the sugar cane it works this is the main thing i don't want to have to sit and nurse more sugarcane we've had enough of doing sugarcane so we can let that one carry on and we'll just pretend it's not driving through the middle of the sugarcane at the moment this one here is about to take another load and then it should go and do its offloading uh we're not worried about that at the moment we want to go to this one here i'm going to start this one up and i'm going to go control h i'm going to put the standard ai on this one and I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna press H like that it should stop oh no he's gonna go along he's gonna drive along the tractor will go with it as well absolutely fantastic I don't think though oh no it'll come to the end of the row and then it stops and it unloads it before it starts going back down the other way I don't think the course play tractor will run in the crop um I we've also not had any glitches like I had you know I had that crash in the middle of last week I've not had anything like that happen since and I am wondering whether it was the combine header or if it was that tab thing. You know, I had that mod that was like um, allowed you to tab between vehicles. And I got a suspicion it was the tab mod that did it because it was close to where another one of those vehicles was. But we'll have to wait and see. I, I don't really know about that. So that one's going to close. Now, MF4709 is in traffic. Now, what does that mean? What does it mean that he's in traffic? Um, 70, 30 premium. So that one's moved. So why has the John Deere not been doing anything? I'm going to go over to this Massey Ferguson. That one's not there. Is it because the courses are overlapping and it doesn't like it? Oh, I see. The Combine wants to move and the Massey Ferguson's not letting it move. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, so he, yeah, he's trying to get to the course. But why is he trying to go up that way? The trailer is full, so if I go to this one and I press H, and I'm going to have to just move this one out of the way, like that. I see, right, he wanted to turn around, but the combine here wanted to reverse in order to be able to do its turning, and it didn't like that. So I'm going to just bring that one down there and start you up. So yeah, we have one wanted to go one way, one wanted to go the other way, and it didn't like it. Now, why aren't you doing anything? I've pressed H. You should be H'ing now. Uh, let me go forward a bit more. See if that's going to do it. Uh, we go there. Still not going. Why? What are you doing? Is this something to do with the hired help and the... Because um, i got lots of hired help. i got various different things going on at the moment. Let me start it a minute and... Manually go into the crop maybe and see if that does anything. Still stopped. Uh, oh! Oh! Right, for some reason it set itself back down to zero and I don't really know why it had done that. I've not seen that before. Anyway, we can live with that. It was just a minor detail, a, a little technical hitch and that one is filling up. So I want to go over to this John Deere over here now. This one's on 25%. I'm going to go to the control here and I'm going to change that one there down to 90%, uh, 80% rather so that it, it goes back through. And then we go over to here. So we've got stop driver, drive now covers, our automatic. And I'm going to save that course. So I want to put a name in here. Um, I don't even remember what this field was. I'm just going to call it cornfield for now. Uh, why is it not typing? 
Escape to cancel. Uh, no idea why. It, w it won't let me do it. No combine in reach. Why wouldn't it let me save it? I can't type in a name. That seems a little bit odd. Oh, well, we won't worry about that now. If it's um, not liking it, I'm not going to sort of tempt fate by trying to do anything too difficult for it. I don't want to risk anything crashing. But that one has gone through, and it has done what it's supposed to do. So it's going to come up there, and it's going to stop. And job done. That's brilliant. So if I go into here, um, I think it's in settings. You've got the pathfinding activated, open HUD, uh, map icons, name and course. Oh, I see. So you can change those if you want to. I'm actually okay with those at the moment. Um, I did say that I thought it would break immersion having them on there, which is one of the reasons I didn't want to use this in the first place. But I would say, actually, it seems to be okay. It's, it's not like spoiling it for me at the moment. So let me know in the comments section if you kind of dislike this idea or not. So we got the Bison running, and it's being emptied automatically. We have got the... Let's go over to it. We've got the John Deere running. And this one is being emptied automatically as well. We've got that John Deere trailer over there that is emptying out the corn on this one. I have got, again, well, this one here is just waiting for um, sugarcane. Uh, the John Deere is doing the emptying automatically. And we've got this one here who is now full. So we need to... This is the only one that we're having to empty ourselves. And overall, I would say that's pretty good. I would say that we're making progress. If we're able to do just about everything on the map, um, and this is like literally the only thing that we're having to do ourselves, I would say that we are doing exceptionally well. I'm going to bring that one up to the front trailer. And we'll tip that into there. Hopefully that will reach. Put that right up. And tip. Yep, straight in. You, so you you have to get kind of close, but you don't... It's like... It's, it is forgiving. It is It allows you a little margin for error for um, tipping it out, which is absolutely brilliant. You do kind of want that, um, especially for a game like this. It's, it's going to make it... Um, a lot easier overall if it's got if it's just going to be a little tiny bit forgiving for you and I would say that is quite an important feature so we just bring this one up through here and then we can join that one back to where it was and really the only thing that I want to do for the rest of this episode um, what's it doing it's not starting I'll bring you up a little bit further maybe a bit further maybe you completed their task. Right. It's not allowing me to do this. So let me just start that one up. See what it does. It comes through there and it grabs up. It's because it's because there's not enough. That's the main issue. Right. So that means that I'm going to have to manually... I'll tell you what. I'm going to bring it down the other end because I don't like the idea of putting it going right in the middle of the crop. It just... Yeah. I, I really, really, really don't like that idea. Even though we are actually doing this, it's still not something that I'm... 100. Whoa! Okay, I didn't expect that. I was just kind of expecting it to, like, start a little bit. But I, I just pressed start. I just pressed B, and it kind of did that. Which is not really what you want it to be doing. We're supposed to be doing a, a sensible, serious, realistic series here. I'm not supposed to be playing around. Um, let's get this going up through here. And I want to sell one of those sugarcane harvesters. The other one needs to be put away in a shed or put away somewhere. And let me just bring that back a little bit like that. That should be okay there. Start you. Should be okay. Yes. That one will go up through its harvesting. Is it grabbing everything? Yes, it is. It's taking everything. Okay, that's taking everything up there. This is the one here that I want to sell. The other one is going to stay where it is. So I want to fold that one up. Like that. And we can start heading back towards the shop with this one. There is no quick way to move one of these unless you get it onto a loader, uh, which we don't have. So we're not going to worry about that. The tractor is over there. It's moving. It's lining up with the combine. Excellent. So that's all working exactly as we would hope. Um, the John Deere over there. That one looks like with the, both the, the John Deere combine has been emptied out again. And that one's working. Everything is working. We got full automation working on this farm. We're actually doing what I wanted to do in Gerala, which was have a farm management. It's as much about farm management as it was about driving and operating a few machines. And today we have finally gotten our actual farm management in place. I'm really pleased with this. I'm not too worried about this one for a minute. We'll, um, we can always move that one later. So let's just go back over to this one. This one here is currently doing the plowing and cultivating. 
So it's deep cultivating, so it's sort of classed as ploughing as well. We've got several fields now that have been cultivated. We've got these two. This one's almost done. Field 14 is ready to go anyway. Um, well, field 14 does actually have the ploughing on it, but um, I'm thinking we could stick a crop on there. I'm not too sure at the moment. I haven't decided on that one. Uh, anyway, we've got field 4 still to harvest. We need to think about what we're going to plant. Now, I'm going to do quite a bit of soybeans, and I'm also going to do quite a bit of corn. Those two are a given. Corn and soybeans. We're definitely doing those. Um, however, then we need to do some other crops. And I'm still sort of undecided about what I should do for the final crops. Now, I'm just doing the outside edge again down through here. Just because the hired help does occasionally do that funny thing where it doesn't like doing the outside line if you leave it until the very end. So if you move over to the other side of the field and you do it, it then meets up into the middle without any problems. Um, yeah, I'm wonder I don't think we're going to do any root crops at the moment. I will eventually do a little bit of potatoes, I think, over there, ready for the pigs. But we're not going to worry about those now. Um, so we'll do soybeans around here, I think, because uh, we've done corn on here. And I'll do some different crops up here on those three fields. So that, those two there are going to be soybeans, probably field one as well. And then we uh yeah, we'll do seven, eight, and one as soybeans. We'll do three, four, five, and six. We'll do all of those three, uh, four fields as corn. And that's corn to be combined, not to be um, silaged. And then we'll do 15 and 13. We're going to join those together. We'll do something with that and um, different crops with these up here as well. I have had several requests for doing whole crop silage, so we will be doing some whole crop silage at some point. And um, he's doing just fine. Excellent job. Anyway, my question for this week. I'm going to be making a new field. So do you want me to make a new field up around here, around 10 and 11, by cutting down those trees around there and then plowing that up to make a big field, which will include this area. So we'll sort of do it around this area here. It probably won't be the whole area because that is a lot of trees to cut. Or... I could come down here into the middle of the map and I could make a brand new field down here. Again, probably not the whole area because that is a huge quantity of trees to cut. Uh, but we do have an area here that we can plow up to make a brand new field. So we've got up there at the top or here in the middle. Which one would you like me to make into a new field? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. And that really is all that I have got time for today. We will carry on with this uh, in tomorrow's episode. And like I said, with the questions now, if you want your vote to count, you will have to do that while the episodes are sort of going up on the Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday because not long after that, I'm gathering up the answers and I'm recording the first episode of the following week. It's just so I can get a better balance for my um, running this channel and my home life with my children and my wife. Um, so, yeah, if you want your questions to... If you want your answers to the questions to count, you will need to get in there fairly early on. So I do apologise for that, but there is no helping it, unfortunately. It's just gonna have to be the way things are from this point on so i'm gonna get this one over to the shop and we'll sell this at the beginning of tomorrow's episode and then we've got an extra pile of money that we'll then need to decide what to do with we got a load of straw that's the next thing that we're gonna need to do we've got everything is now automated it all seems to be running we've got planting to do and we've got straw that we need to bail up and get stored as well so if you enjoyed this episode please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Fritgar. goodbye and see you later <laughs>